Uh, we'll turn it right here, Blue. Okay. Um, I'll talk to it sooner. It's underneath my desk, I think. Well, you're about to step down shortly. Yep. That's what I'm worried about. That's why I'm Four filming. <laughs> Three more oh steps. Two more. Right, take the first one back. I got it. You guys are awesome. Seriously, we appreciate it. Like, you don't even know how much. That's why we're here. Yeah. Oops. First team here. Team comes all the way down here and he has to start moving furniture. That is awesome. It is. Yeah. So this we're going on. All right. We just need the other thing. I wasn't sure if I would have the strength to be able to stand up here today and be able to speak to all of you about my dad, especially in a past tense. I fought myself for days questioning if I could do it. Then last night, as I sat outside, I said out loud, Dad, can I do this? And I looked up, and just as that time, I saw a shooting star go across the sky. I closed my eyes, made a wish, and I picked up my phone to write this. I wouldn't be who I am if it wasn't for him. He taught me to be a strong-willed, bold, tough woman who never backs down and never takes anything from anyone. Strong as I am, though, I must admit that seeing my dad like that made me feel so weak. To see a man that has always been such a fierce force with such a fight brought down so quickly like this was heartbreaking. I do find comfort in knowing that his pain is gone, but our pain has just begun. I'll forever be grateful for having him in my life. <coughs> He was such a stubborn man, but he worked so tirelessly for his family. From selling his handmade rugs, to snow cones, to peanuts, to knives, he always found to make sure to find a way that we had food in our stomachs and a roof over our heads. He would have done anything to make sure we were taken care of, and even in his last days, he wasn't concerned for himself. He was concerned for us. He wasn't scared to die. He knew it was coming and he was ready. He was worried about what we were gonna do, how we were gonna be. We assured him that all of us were going to be just fine, but truthfully, we knew that our worlds would shatter. And even though we'd start to pick up the pieces one day, we always knew there'd be a large piece missing. Angry Grandpa is an irreplaceable, one-of-a-kind legend who paved the way for many YouTube channels. He changed many lives, and he saved many lives. I've heard numerous stories from people who battled from depressions. They tell me how my dad saved him. That always made him feel so good, and it reassured him that what he was doing was the right thing. My dad loved his youngins. He truly loved every single one of you so much, and you meant the world to him. He'd call me, and he'd tell me, Kimber, you never gonna believe how many likes he's got. <laughs> he'd call me, he'd read me the comments. Can you believe this shit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to miss those phone calls more than anything in this whole world. Not a day will go by that I don't think of them. They say it gets easier, but I believe that's a lie. The pain of losing a parent can never get easier. I'll cry in the grocery store when I see pecan film wheels or peanut butter cups. Mm -hmm. I'll cry in the car when I hear a song come on the radio that makes me think of him. I'll cry every year that I can't call him and tell him happy birthday. I'll cry every year that I can't call him on a holiday and hear him tell me he loves me. The hardest day of all that I'll cry will be December 10th, the worst day of all. 
I can only hope that when I cry, he's not out there saying, Kim, no wonder who you cry for. You both felt that. <laughs> he never wanted us to cry, but we can't help it because it hurts so bad and we miss him so much. We are lucky, though. Thanks to the amazing connection that Michael and our father had, we are fortunate enough to have 10 years worth of videos. With a click of a button, we can go on and we can hear his rage and his rants live on forever. I want to thank Michael for taking the time and making his life so happy. Dad may have changed other people's lives, but you changed his and I'm forever grateful. You gave him something he would have never imagined in his wildest dreams. You made him proud, and you will continue to make him proud. My dad may have departed this life, but his legacy will live on forever. Thank you guys, all of you, so much for being a part of his dream. I love you so much, Dad, and I'll miss you forever. I really don't know what to say. I always have something to say, but I'm completely speechless right now. Well, not completely, because I'm talking. Um, me and Dad had our problems. Um, growing up to, you know, having him raise my kids when I needed help. If it wasn't for my dad, those kids would be somewhere else. And not with us, I'm not here right now. I was with Dad, doctor's appointments, hospitals, <coughs> and he was fighting them just like he fought to his last breath. I'm never going to forget me and Lauren sitting in Dad's room and we're staring at each other. Dad looks up and he goes, he does this supper. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> 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 oh. I look at Laura and I said, he just flipped someone off in his room. And I'm like, who's he flipping off in his room? <laughs> I'm going to miss Dad. I mean, every morning about 3 o'clock in the morning, Jenny, Jenny, wake up. <laughs> yeah, Dad. Maybe it's a coffee. Dad, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Maybe it's a coffee. All right, all right Dad. All right, Dad. <laughs> I find myself making coffee 3 o'clock in the morning. I'll get up, go into the room, and there, and the coffee just sits there. I don't even drink it. He said something the other day, which I never heard my dad really say something like this. I think how it went along the lines, I think Michael had said, Dad, how are we going to do this? And then Dad looks up and says, Never doubt the green's wisdom. Where'd that come from? Oh my God. There's just a lot of things that everybody's gonna miss. Fans, young men, his family, the boys are going to miss their dad because that's who they know as their father. The day daddy took his last breath, we're standing there. And we're sitting there playing Conway Twitty, playing all his favorite songs. We, we tell Dad, we say, we love you. And we look up for a quick second, and he was gone. And just like that, life can be over, just like that. So, I mean, cherish the things you have, cherish the people you have in your life. And. That's all I'm going to say. I really don't have anything funny to say like everybody else. So, I mean, you know. Okay, I'm going now. <laughs> and I didn't cry, so Dad, you don't have to haunt me. <laughs> Time. This is my girlfriend. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm like all around in these circumstances. Nice to meet you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's so good. Oh, okay. You got that broken thing. Remember that? Fine. Thank you.
Thanks for coming. Hey, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Sorry for you long. Thanks for coming. 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 Thank you for coming. He really liked you. He loved you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. <laughs> it's a sad, sad thing. Yeah, public. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We finally got a meeting there. Yeah. Thank you for all your thanks. I think we all know. It's. You live on forever. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much. You know the hug. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> He's not here to tell me what I think. So yeah. I want to do him real quick. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I I it's something that every night it's like one of our nightmare routines. Yeah. So, like, wow. yeah. Keep, keep doing it. I hope I'm not too proud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How are you doing? Thanks for coming. No problem whatsoever. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thanks for coming. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you You guys don't mind being on camera. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah. Read it. Thanks for coming. Hey, man. Oh, yeah. I, I am, for sure. Thanks for coming. It's so nice <laughs> meeting you. I like it. I tell you, you got tattoos on your potters. My brother is like a Alright. Huge. Thanks for coming. Oh, I won't be able to say any more. Hey, don't worry about it. They're just making a video. How are you? Yeah, he was a crazy guy. Publix, I know who you are. How are you, sir? So, what's your name, man? I'm Nick. Nick Lowman. Wow. These guys drove from Delaware to come wow. to Grandpa's service. Uh, grandmother? Yes, it's Dolly. Grand Dolly, nice to meet you, Dolly. Dolly. And Dolly and Nick. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Hey, I really want to thank you for coming this far. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it so much. And thank much. you for taking them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. My dad wouldn't have taken me. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't. <laughs> he let's definitely not, wouldn't. Let's not glamorize it because he's gone. No, Zach, can you take me to South Carolina? Huh? <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> yeah. Shit, no! Yeah. <laughs> the funny part is, we had, I had, my car got towed in August, in October, 
and we got a rental to come down. It was oh, like, that's wow. what he wanted for Christmas was to see you. Wow, man. Well, thanks so much, yes. man. Keep yeah. watching because we're going to keep doing stuff. Yeah, you know, we definitely. Got, we got, got more to. coming. Yeah. yeah. You have to. You don't have a choice. Yeah. The yeah. world needs you. I was going to quit. I, I'll yeah. be honest. Yeah. I was. I could hear my dad in my head. I was like, you know, maybe yeah. I should just walk away and I could hear my dad. Oh, you stupid. <laughs> oh, you stupid. You need to marry her. Oh, I appreciate it. That was one of my regrets, not marrying her That's while he was around. Fix the regret. He's with yeah. you. Yeah. He's with all of us. Yeah, Michael. Well, Bridget, get out of here. All right. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you want a picture, man? I already got one. Oh. You want another one? Yeah, let's do it. Hold on yeah.